Hey Libra, happy Friday. Thanks for stopping by Born of the Rose. Thanks for clicking on your weekend update tarot card reading. In this reading, we're gonna be looking at your weekend ahead. What's the energies? What's the overall theme? What's coming down? What's coming towards you? What's gonna be potentially challenging? You know, possible crossing energies. And uh, what advice does the universe have for you? Yeah. What does the uh, universal mind want for us? I don't really think it cares. So let's look at the closer spirits then. Universal mind's too busy being us and the geese over there and the log I'm sitting on and all that stuff. It's a little busy. Anyway, I'm gonna hit my vape and I'm gonna shuffle some cards. We're gonna get this thing rolling. Okay, Spirit, what we got here for our Libra Collective. Please tap me into their energy. Libra, I'm gonna ask you to do something with me here real quick. Let's take a deep breath in together. And let it out. That felt good. Let's do that one more time. Let's let out a sigh or an ohm or a sound with it. Uh, all right. Yeah. Now we're grounded in together. Sweet. It's good to see you. Spirit, please be with us now. Please bring forth the most clear, concise, accurate messages for our Libra Collective for the energies that they'll be working with this weekend. What's the overall theme, Spirit? For our Libra's weekend, what's the overall theme? Three of Cups. It's a card of friendship, it's a card of celebration. It's not really celebration, it, it kind of is. Three of Cups coupled with the Four of Wands, now that's celebration. But Three of Cups on its own, this is a card of friendship. Three of Cups with Three of Pentacles can also be a polyamory thing, but that's not what I'm talking about right now. We're talking about the Three of Cups. Friendship, positive feelings you have with other people. All right, Spirit, what do we have more for this Three of Cups energy for our Libres? Four of Cups. So we got more Cups now. We had Three Cups, now we got Four Cups. Cups are growing. That's all heart space stuff. Except one's blue, which is, you know, the third eye chakra, and one's orange, which that's sacral chakra. This is three cups pouring into one big cup. What do we got going on here with these cups? A lot of feels. These are, these are feelings cards. These are, the cups are the water energies. That's the feelings. Spirit, what more do we have for this three of cups to the four of cups? for our Libres for this weekend. And the chariot, forward movement. Whoa, wow, those gooses are getting it. Oh, they are honking at each other. Oh, they are mad, mad. Oh yeah, she is chasing her away. You get away from my man, she said. Oh, maybe that's indicative of the four of cups aspect of the three of cups in the, anyway. Anyway, let's move it forward fast. The chariot is fast moving energy. Um, you have the sun shining down on the two horses there, symbolizing yin and yang. Um, the masculine and the feminine, Boaz and Yachim. Um, and they are balanced, so the chariot moves. The charioteer has to pull them into balance because they want to go in either direction. The charioteer is the one getting them to work together. And by the way, you are your charioteer and you are the one balancing your masculine and feminine um, impulses within yourself. Now, 
we all have masculine and feminine energies. Okay, so don't be like, I am a woman and I don't. You have masculine in you too. It's an, it's an energy, it's not a gender. Okay, just saying. It's not a sex, it doesn't mean what's between your legs. But with that three to four of cups, it could, it could be between your legs, I'm just saying. Anyway, woo, it's a weird one for me today. Um, could be that kind of a weekend, folks. Could be. It's springtime up here in the Northern Hemisphere. You know? All right. Wow, I'm totally sidetracked. Spirit, what are the energies that are coming towards our Libra Collective this weekend? What are the energies coming towards our Libras this weekend? Six of Pentacles. A balancing of the earthly plane. The pentacles are your earth energy, your physical world. And quite often this is seen as a card of giving and receiving in a balanced and harmonious way. Or, other option, is that someone has enough to share extra, and so they do. I'm seeing it more as a balancing of the physical energies. Spirit, what more can we say about what's coming towards, or it could be another Libra, by the way. Anytime I see scales, it's, I'll say that that's Libra and energy. Spirit, what else can we say about what's coming towards our Libras this weekend? More pentacles. This is total fulfillment in the physical plane. That's your legacy, what, you, what you're leaving on the earth with. Yeah. Spirit, what more can we say about what is coming towards our Libras this weekend? The moon. We're not going to say anything more about it. It's all in shadow. Sorry about that. Kansu, what do you got it for us? This is the Egyptian god Kansu. He's, uh, I think they even did like some Marvel comic story on him really really poor depiction of that deity as far as I'm concerned um, yeah I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave it there I, neat story and I, I like the multiple personality aspect of it like it's fun to watch but Kansu is actually a beautiful 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 to look at God so and the way they depicted him I'm like, no, no, sorry, sorry. Kansu's actually more balanced in their masculine and their feminine. We see in the West, the moon as a feminine energy. Uh, this was a masculine who also was balanced in their feminine, a pretty man, if you will. Um, so that, that's why I'm like, I don't, that, that show on that Marvel did that guy was scary and hideous looking. <laughs> I'm like, that's, that, that, that's not a pretty man. Sorry. I mean, the actor playing it, you could say he was handsome, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about when he would transform. So, anyway, I totally got sidetracked again. The moon is, it's a feminine energy. She reflects back the light of the sun, Ra's sun. And there's unknowns around it. Or it could be a cancer. Okay, I'm just going to put that out there because there's a card of cancer. So it could be a cancer coming towards you with more bucks in their hands than they know what to do with. Let's go with that. Okay, Libra, that's all it is. Or maybe you're just not going to have all the information or you need to use your intuition about headed towards that legacy wealth that you're going for. Your story. Spirit, where are the potential crossing energies for our Libres for this weekend? What's potential crossing them? This little bugger's coming out in every reading, the fool. Puppy with a stick. You probably heard me say this recently. Leaving the past in the past. Future's unknown, uncertain. The present is what we have. And in this case, this puppy has a stick in the present moment and is happy about it. Be happy with what you have in the moment. Live in the moment. 
be in the moment. New beginnings happen in the moment. Every moment is a possibility of a new beginning for you. Okay? That's, that's the concept of that. Anything else? Spirit, I mean, crossing energies here. What do we got? So we got the fool, it's a crossing energy. What else is potentially crossing this whole thing? Three of Pentacles, needing to collaborate, cooperate with the others of the peoples. Just saying. What else we got for potential crossings of the energies here, spirits? Nuss. The Queen of Swords. So the Fool and the Queen of Swords are like the dominant energies of this week for some reason. I don't know why, but they are. And strong, fierce, intimidating, feminine energy. Intellectual and a real good talker. Maybe you need to embody that energy. It's also a card of Libra. You know, air sign feminine. Even though Libra is a masculine energy. Which is... Strange, because Libra is ruled by Venus. I would always assume that Libra is a feminine energy. But I don't make up astrology. In fact, I I know just enough astrology to get myself in trouble in conversations with astrologers. I'm more into where the moon is at the time. I'm more of a moon cycle person. At least for my own manifestation work. Mm-hmm. I find the moon to be more directly influential. But that's just me. I've only been at my craft for 35 years. Not that long. This lifetime. Spirit, what advice do you have for our Libras? If they've been dealing with this really slow message from me, can we, can we give these folks some advice so they can go on with their day? What we got for our Libras for advice? Knight of Wands. Passionate action. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a weekend for passionate action. Knight of Wands is kind of a swervy guy. Likes to get it on. Likes to do their thing, whatever that thing is. Could be painting, could be riding bikes. I don't know. Could be kicking it between the sheets with a new person, Ace of Pentacles. Just saying. This is more advice from Spirit for the weekend. Knight of Wands to the Ace of Pentacles. It's offering up something new to somebody for something fun, something passionate. Talk about it, Knight of Swords. Communicate it with truth. You'd be surprised what truth can actually get you in this world. Case, okay, that's what I got for you, Libras. If you like, I hope I liked it. I hope it was a useful reading. I hope it clicked. I hope it said something. And I hope the messages are useful. Yeah, did I already say the useful part? Probably did. Did you know that Mercury is going to go into a metro gay again? Retrograde, something like that. I don't know. Um, is this thing on? Probably not. Anyway, I really do. I hope the reading was useful for you. And if not, maybe it was entertaining. Um, at least on a cringe factor. Uh. If you liked it, do the thumbs up thing. If you got something out of it, drop the comment down below. If you want to, no pressure. No pressure. I cry when I don't have when I don't have comments, but that's okay. Don't worry about me and my tears. It's oh god, I'm really messed up today. Funny, I'm sober. Yeah. Hey, have a great weekend, my friends. From my heart to yours. I'm sending you love. I'm sending you peace. See you in the future.